one is your kalpana here so in this video we are going to evaluate integrals so let's get started evaluate integral tan x plus cot x whole square into dx solution so this of the form a plus b whole square right since we know that a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab okay so let's consider so you can write it as tan x whole square plus cot x whole square plus 2 into tan x into cot x to dx. Okay. Since cot x equals to 1 by tan x. So you could write it as tan square x cot x whole square as cot square x plus 2 tan x into now replace cot x by 1 by tan x into dx okay now you can cancel tan x tan x so this is equal to integral of tan square x plus cot square x plus 2 into dx Okay, 2 into 1 is 2. Fine. Since we know that 1 plus tan square x equals to secant square x. So from this we will get tan square x equals to secant square x now take this one to right hand side you'll get minus one and also we have one plus cos square x equals to cosecant square x so you'll get cos square x equals to cosecant square x minus one simply we'll take this one to right hand side becomes minus one all right so this becomes integral of now replace tan square x by secant square x minus 1 plus now replace cot square x by cosecant square x minus 1 plus 2 into dx. So this is equals to integral of secant square x minus 1 plus cosecant square x minus 1 plus 2 into dx. So this is equals to integral of secant square x minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 2 plus Cosecant square x plus 2 into dx. So this is equal to now cancel minus 2 and plus 2. So you will get integral of secant square x plus cosecant square x into dx. Since integral secant square x dx equals to, okay. So you could write it as integral secant square x dx plus integral integral cosecant square x dx okay since we have integral secant square x dx equals to tan x plus c and Integral cosecant square x dx equals to minus cot x plus c. Okay. So 
So this is equals to since we have integral secant squared x dx equals to tan x plus integral cosecant squared x dx is minus cot x. So you let plus or minus cot x plus integral constant c. Only one constant for both the integrals. So this equals to tan x plus into minus minus cot x plus c. Therefore, integral of tan x plus cot x whole square to dx equals to tan x minus cot x plus c. This completes the problem. Now coming to the second problem. Value second one integral of 1 minus cos 2x by 1 plus cos 2x into dx. Since cos 2x equals to 2 cos square x minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sin square x. Okay. So here in the place of cos 2x you have to write this formula. So, how you can choose the formula? See, here you are having plus 1 minus of cos 2x. So, in order to cancel this plus 1, we will choose the second formula. Okay? So, that you will get 1 minus of replace cos 2x by 1 minus 2 sin square x. See here, you will get 1 minus 1. So, plus 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled in the next step. Okay. So, in the denominator, you are having 1 plus cos 2x. So, here you have to take the first formula. So, replace cos 2x by 2 cos square x minus 1 into dx. So, this equals to integral of 1 minus 1 minus into minus plus 2 sin square x but 1 plus 2 cos square x minus 1 into dx. So now you can cancel plus 1 minus 1. So this equals to integral of 2 sin square x, 2 sin square x by 2 cos square x into dx. So now cancel 2. So this equals to sin square x by cos square x into dx. Since we know that sin x by cos x equals to tan x, then if you square on both sides, you'll get sin square x by cos square x equals to tan square x. Okay. So this is equals to integral sin square x by cos square x is tan square x. So we will replace it by tan square x into dx. Since we know that 1 plus tan square x equals to secant square x. So from this you will get tan square x equals to secant square x minus 1. So now replace tan square x by secant square x minus 1. So this equals to secant square x minus 1 into dx. Okay. So this equals to integral 
secant square x dx minus integral 1 into dx. Okay. Since we know that integral secant square x dx equals to tan x plus c and integral dx equals to integral 1 into dx equals to x plus c. So you can write integral dx as integral 1 into dx. Okay. There is nothing wrong in it. So this equals to tan x minus integral dx is x plus integral constant c. So therefore, integral of 1 minus cos 2x by 1 plus cos 2x equals to tan x minus x plus integral constant c. So this completes the second problem. Fine. So we have seen two problems in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.